I'm Jason from Better Batteries and I'm here today to explain to you the difference between our CNFJ and our EVFJ range. It's quite a bit of difference between these two batteries. The CNFJ is our more traditional deep cycle battery. It likes running smaller loads like fridges and, and you know, other electrical loads for a long, nice period of time. But the team at Better Batteries, we needed to develop a battery that could handle a big hit, something that could carry a fairly large electrical load. So the engineering team set about designing a very unique battery. It is slightly different in chemistry. It's, it's based around the, our you know, lead crystal battery technology. There's a slight tweak in the chemistry. It's quite a different plate. The plate's been designed to handle a much larger inrush of current and it can give off current quite, quite rapidly. It acts perfectly fine as a deep cycle battery, so it can handle smaller loads, but it's really suited to large electrical loads. A bit of a trick with the EVFJ range is its numbering system. Our CNFJ range is numbered off what we call the C10 rating. Automotive batteries traditionally have a C20 rating. Our range is based on a C10 rating. The EVFJ range is based on a C3 rating. So basically that means that you can pretty much discharge the battery's capacity in three hours. Whereas our more traditional deep cycle is, is used over a 10 hour period you'll find different C ratings for different batteries. For example, our solar battery range are all rated at C120 or 150 range. So don't be fooled by the number. This little 80 is about 100 amp hours at your traditional C20 rate. One of the core differences is that the EVFJ range can handle a lower charge current. Our CNFJ range likes to charge at 30% of the C10 rate and the EVFJ range likes to charge at 20% of the C10 rate. To find the C10 rate, simply download the data sheet and you'll find we list the different ratings for the battery. Then you just calculate the percentage of that rate. Pretty simple. I like the EVFJs because they've got a bit of grunt. If I do need to emergency crank, this would be a battery that I would do it from. I often get asked, would we put an EVFJ in a crank application? And I suppose the true answer to that is no, but then there's always that but. Uh, we do sell quite a lot into the marine industry for starting smaller engines like outboards. I don't know that I would hold the key flat on a Volvo Penta or a big heavy diesel and, and do a massive long discharge. It's, it's not a, a cranking battery. Cranking batteries are, are structurally really quite different. Uh, this is a, a deeper cycle battery, but with the ability to deliver much higher current. So this battery would be ideal for a pumping station, a bow thruster on a boat. Uh, in fact, this battery here is used in the Triple S Winch Challenge and um, the boys are getting a, a very good result from the battery with the uh, competition winch trucks. So they're the sort of applications. I like them in, in caravan RV applications. They're very robust battery. Uh, they, that lower charge current ability uh, means that when you've got limited space for things like solar or you might have a smaller battery charger you find that uh, you can, you're can you much closer to your charge current requirements with an EVFJ than you might be with a, with a CNFJ. Um, so yeah, so as I say, just to summarise, still a lead crystal technology with, with a bit of a twist, uh, quite a different plate design and can handle a, a much higher current discharge. So. Uh, by all means, have a look at the data sheet and like always, if you've got any questions, contact any of your uh, Better Batteries technical teams around the world. Uh, you'll find those listed on our website, betterbatteries.com.